In today's stream, I'm going to show you how to make your footage look more cinematic. What's up guys, Elliot here from Venom Films coming at you with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your footage look more cinematic in Hit Film 4 Express. Now a quick shout out to Digital Blast for helping me with this technique, check his channel out, I'll leave a link to that in the description. I'm also sorry I've not been in a long time as my camera broke so I've not really been able to record stuff but I am back and I'm recording stuff. Let me know in the comments section what other kind of tutorials you want to watch as I will happily do any of them. Right, so once you're in HitFilm 4 Express what you want to do is just make your footage into a composition. Now the effect I am going for is the kind of effect that you get in like the Transformers and Mutant Ninja Turtle. This is a very common effect you see in most new action films. So first what you want to do is go to the new layers and make a new grade layer. Now what a grade layer does is it basically colour grades everything that is below that layer. So once we have put the grade layer on top the first effect we want to do is add a bit of a curves. Now what the curves does is basically adds a bit more kind of contrast. So to, to do this what I'm going to do is just zoom into these trees and pull them just a bit to make a gentle S. Uh, we're just going to fit this back to scale and you can check your results by clicking the tick. So I'm happy with that. Now the next effect we're going to add is the, oh, not cooler, colour, oh, I can't spell today, colour balance effect. Now what we're going to do with the colour balance effect is go down into the shadows and turn the red colour balance down to about minus 35. Change it on how light and dark your image is. So, I think that looks quite good. You can also turn the greens up a little bit and the blues up about there. Next, we're going to add a letterbox and the letterbox makes this look more cinematic. So now you can see it looks more cinematic, but to make it even cooler, I'm just gonna have a bit of a sharpen to this as, I don't know, I think it look cool. Now you don't want to do the sharpen too much as it can ruin the effect. So we're going to turn the feature size down about 25% and then we can see that looks much better. Now once you've done this what we're going to want to do is turn it into a preset. Now to turn it into a preset what you want to do is press shift, no press control and select the effect and then you're going to right click, create a preset and call it whatever you like. I'm just going to call this, I don't know, action movie and you're going to save that. Now if we go to the presets, we can drag this preset onto any footage and it'll look the same. And all you can do then is change it to make it look good for that shot. So there we go, we are done. Comment down below in the description what tutorials you want to see next and I'll hopefully do as many of them as I can. And be sure to like, subscribe and until next time, bye.